Welcome to the Blueberry Markets Academy. This webinar is for beginners and it is part one of three. If you are new to trading, then this webinar is for you. I suggest you stick around, grab a notepad and we'll get to learning. What is Forex trading? By definition, Forex refers to the global decentralized market where currencies are bought and sold and exchanged. Some key points to note are trillions of dollars are traded daily, making it the largest and most liquid financial market in the world. Some of the participants include banks, financial institutions, corporations, governments, and individual traders. Now the Forex market operates 24 seven, divided into Tokyo, London, and New York sessions, each impacting trades differently. Some of the market Participants include central banks and commercial banks. They engage in forex trading for various purposes, such as managing monetary policy and facilitating international trade. Investment banks and hedge funds are major players in forex. They leverage their expertise and resources to profit from currency movements. Multinational companies also engage in forex to mitigate foreign exchange risk arising from international operations. Governments intervene in the forex markets to stabilize their domestic currency or influence their exports competitiveness. Retail traders participate in forex through online platforms aiming to profit from exchange rate fluctuations. So how do we actually trade forex? Well, forex trading involves the simultaneous buying of one currency and selling of another, known as a currency pair. By speculating and analysing the direction the currencies are most likely to take in the coming future, traders try to make a profit by buying currencies whose value is expected to increase in the future and selling currencies that might lead to a loss. Now, Some examples are the euro slash US dollar, that is the euro versus the US dollar. We also have GBP slash JPY and that is the Great British Pound versus the Japanese Yen. Now we do have major, minor and exotic pairs. Currencies are categorized based on their trading volume and liquidity. Some exotic pairs you might have heard of before are, let's say, the US dollar versus the Mexican peso. Key factors influencing Forex. Economic indicators. Forex prices respond to economic data such as GDP, employment rates, inflation and interest rates. Political instability, trade disputes and international conflicts can also impact currency values. Decision on interest rates, monetary policy and quantitative easing by central banks can significantly influence currency markets. Market psychology, investor confidence and risk appetite play a crucial role as well in Forex trading. Some trading strategies include technical analysis, this is where traders analyze historical price data, charts and indicators to identify patterns and predict future price movements. We'll be discussing a lot about technical analysis in our later webinars. Fundamental analysis. This is where traders study economic indicators, news events and market trends to assess the intrinsic value of a currency. Now, this is something that top traders do and it's something that we will show you in our academy. Risk management. Successful traders employ risk management techniques such as stop loss orders and proper position sizing to protect their capital. Again, something we're going to show you later down the line in the academy. So make sure you check out the other webinars. Some trading styles include swing trading, day trading and position trading. Now these cater into different time horizons and risk preferences. So what are the advantages of Forex trading? Liquidity. So high trading volume ensures ample liquidity, enabling traders to enter and exit positions without significant price impact. Accessibility. The Forex markets operate 24-5, allowing traders to participate from anywhere in the world using online platforms. Leverage. Now, Forex brokers provide leverage, allowing traders to control larger positions with a fraction of the capital. You may have heard of one to a hundred, for instance. Diverse opportunities. Now, with numerous currency pairs and global events impacting the market, Forex offers a wide range of trading opportunities. Not only do brokers offer foreign exchange, but they offer you options to trade with indices like the stock, US stock markets or commodities such as gold. 
Now, there are some risks and considerations. Now, whilst volatility can be very good for traders, it does result in substantial price swings, which can often lead to both profits and losses. While leverage amplifies potential profits, it also magnifies losses, making risk management crucial. Understanding the intricacies of Forex trading requires continuous learning, experience and staying updated with market developments. Managing emotions and adhering to trading plans are essential for long-term success in Forex trading. Now to summarise, what have we learned in this webinar? We learned that the Forex markets are 24-7. We learned that market participants include banks, hedge funds, corporations, governments and individual traders. We also learned that Forex trading involves buying one currency and selling another. Economic indicators, geopolitical events, central bank policies and market sentiment all influence the Forex markets. And some trading strategies can include fundamental and technical analysis. Now, a trader must consider the risks involved with trading, including volatility and leverage, before taking up the opportunity to enter a trade. I really hope you enjoyed the first instalment of the Blueberry Markets Academy, Beginners Part 1. Stay tuned for Beginners Part 2, where we'll learn a lot more about the Forex markets.